Hello viewers, how is the idea of spending some time at Highlands in Scotland, the home of mountains, glens and rivers and deep locks? It is a must have experience in Scotland. Our today's video is about Scottish Highlands and we are sure from historic and scenic glens to amazing winding locks, this video will show you stunning pictures of the Scottish Highlands at its finest. We are starting our trip from Fort Augustus, a town situated on the shores of Loch Ness. Fort Augustus is a compact and picturesque town bustling with tourists during the high summer period. Fort Augustus is an ideal spot to watch the yachts and cruisers drift by. A lovely pastime of this beautiful place is to sit outside a bar or restaurant with a drink or meal and watching the boats of all shapes and sizes passing through the series of logs on the canal. Truly, it is an excellent place to stop for a while. The major attraction of Fort Augustus is Caledonian Canal. This is a stunning location for a canal boat holiday or any kind of cruising. You can visit Nessie's home on a cruise or a speed boat. Another striking attraction is Loch Ness Viewpoint, an area with a serene panorama of the loch. Take some time sailing around Loch Ness and explore the wonderful waterside scenery. Everyone who has heard of Scotland has heard of the Loch Ness Monster. Children and adults both enjoy the big business of monster hunting. It is a popular resting point for weary walkers and cyclists hoping to take a well-earned breather, relax and enjoy the view. There are many ways to see and enjoy the canal. But an excellent place to observe the canal in operation is at Fort Augustus, where Neptune's staircase, ladders of locks 
lower or raise boats according to the direction of travel. Neptune staircase is really a cool feat of engineering. This is the longest staircase lock in Britain. It's fascinating to watch the locks in operation as boats climb and descend between the canal and lock. It's really an amazing experience with easy access and clear walkway along the eight locks. If you want to see the locks in full operation, make sure to be there on time. A trip just outside the village will give you a chance to see some unusual farm animals. Now we are in Fort William, known as a gateway to Ben Nevis, the UK's highest peak. It is also known as the outdoor capital of the UK. Fort William is a center for hill walking and climbing due to its proximity to Ben Nevis and many other mountains. It is also known for its nearby downhill mountain bike track. Even if you are not a Harry Potter fan, don't miss experiencing Jacobite steam train. It runs from Fort William to Malek. Please watch a separate video on this topic. Now we are heading towards Glencoe, one of the most famous and most scenic glens of Highlands. Now passing through the beautiful Balajulish Bridge, the name comes from the Gaelic for Village of the Narrows. Driving on these narrow twisting roads is an amazing experience. Located in the West Highlands of Scotland, Glencoe is surrounded by mountains on all sides. A number of well-known and very successful movies have been filmed in Glencoe.
Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and several other films from Harry Potter series have shown this fantastic scenery and rugged hills in the background. Glencoe has been a filming location for James Bond's epic Skyfall and many other films such as Highlander, Maid of Honor and Bollywood movie Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. You can see an abundance of Scottish locks. Lock is the Gaelic word for lake. Some locks are so still that the mountains above are reflected in their mirror-like surface. You can appreciate traditional stone cottages on the banks of rivers. We stopped by at one of the cottages and admired a flock of sheep wandering the hillside. The location is breathtaking and surrounded by beautiful valleys. Because of its spectacular scenery and mountains, Glencoe has been recently voted as Scotland's most romantic glen. We are passing by the bridge of Orki. You can find lots of adventurous campers walking up the mountains. When driving north from Bridge of Orki, we find this lovely place with beautiful sky, smoky mountains and deep blue water. This place looks to be a pilgrimage for photographers. We are at Loch Dula, a popular stop of point close to Bridge of Orki. One of the several photogenic locks on the vast Rannoch Moor, Loch Tula is a popular spot for taking photos of the Black Mount and its four Munros. Now we are approaching wonderful Loch Lomond. Please keep an eye on our upcoming videos about this scenic place. Passing through the beautiful Loch Lobang, we are starting our return for home.
our honest reviews about the trip are that the Scottish Highlands are perfect for hiking, taking in the fresh air and appreciating the spellbinding views of the sky, sea and hills. The trip gave us the full Scottish experience with amazing sights and great memories. We enjoyed each and every moment and hope that you too would like and appreciate it. Please subscribe the channel that will keep us motivated. See you soon with a new destination. Till then, take care and have fun. Bye-bye.